Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for attending the uh, Drop Dead Spirits of the World. I'm Paul Packelt. Uh, I've been editor of this thing, uh, Spirit Journal, for about uh, 21 years now. And uh, over that time, somebody figured that I've tasted and reviewed about 20,600 spirits. Um, and that was within a three-week span. That was the amazing thing. Um, at any rate, uh, but the reason that we're here is because uh, this is a real special occasion. Uh, because after all these years of, of tasting spirits and reviewing them in the Spirit Journal, um, and being a judge for spirits in numerous, uh, uh, and for wine and for beer, but being a judge in competitions, um, and always feeling that there was something kind of lacking in those competitions, uh, one thing or another, uh, in 2009, I decided to start a new company called uh, Ultimate Beverage Challenge, but I always realized that there was a better way to judge. I always realized that there was a better methodology that could be used. I always realized that certain spirits and, and wines, you need the proper glassware, you need the proper environment, uh, you need the proper judges. And so we have endeavored to put this organization together based upon really a very simple credo. Integrity, integrity meaning that we get the most qualified people as judges in the world for our competitions, uh, methodology, and methodology, by that I mean bringing up the, the methodology, bringing up the, the systems, the procedures for judging beverage alcohol into the 21st century, uh, holding them in a place like this, a facility that is the state-of-the-art facility in North America. Uh, I, I, you know, I spent too many uh, weeks uh, in, in moldy hotel rooms uh, judging wine, and that shouldn't be. Uh, and, and judging wine, judging champagne in wine glasses, not champagne glasses. Uh, and, and judging wine or beer that were not temperature proper for service and for judging. So we said, enough of that. We're going to create a company that is going to do all of that. We're, out of respect, for the people in the beverage alcohol industry. We are going to create a company that is going to provide the finest results from the finest judges in the finest facility using the most modern methodology in the world. And so that's what we've done. Um, the fruit of the very first one is standing before you in 12 glasses. Um, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of this year, we uh, operated here at, at Astor Center in this very room, as a matter of fact, the very first uh, Ultimate Spirits Challenge. Uh, 524 spirits were entered, um, and 12, only 12, were given the Chairman's Trophy as the best spirit in their particular category. Now, one of my gripes about many of the current, uh, the contemporary crop of uh, uh, competitions is that they've become metal factories where if you enter, you get a medal. And some people like that, you know, a lot of producers like that. Uh, but my feeling is that if you're gonna get something, you have, to, you have to do the John Hausman thing. You have to earn it. We want spirits, wines, and beers, and cocktails to earn their way to a chairman's trophy. We are not a metal factory. And I think the industry is beginning to pick up on this fact now that if you earn something at Ultimate Beverage Challenge competitions, you've really been put through your paces. So I'm delighted to share with you uh, really an astounding tasting uh, of 12 of the finest spirits in the world right now. Now bear in mind, we're in, we're in a wonderful period for spirits right now. There are over 5,600 spirits available in the United States right now. That is the most in history. So we're in a golden age of spirits. We have micro distillers uh, doing wonderful things. We have big companies doing wonderful things. We're in a golden age for spirits right now in this country. So, so to have these 12 
out of 524 very, very good spirits. And, and I have to tell you that the competition was very, very stiff. So, so these 12 are a very, very special dozen. Uh, so I, I'm so happy that, uh, that you're with us today to, to share, uh, really, the, the firsthand experience of the first 12 Chairman Trophy winners from Ultimate Spirits Challenge. Um, show of hands. I'm sorry to do this, but I must do this. And, and you know, I'll apologize for this right now. But I need a show of hands. How many people here like spirits? And how many people here like beer? And how many people here like wine? OK, good. How many people here never raise their hands for political or religious reasons? Okay, uh, okay good. So a couple of people over there. Great, thank you. Thank you in the back. That's uh, our cameraman there. What a, everybody knows, you know, most, I cut my teeth in the wine industry. From 1973 to 1982, I worked for Rodney Strong in Sonoma County. And so I learned how to taste tasting wine. Uh, but tasting spirits is a completely different game. So I'm just going to go through a quick, just so everybody's on the same page here, because I think, mo you know, most everybody, they, everybody goes to wine tastings. Uh, maybe some of you go to beer tastings, but frankly, there are very few spirits tastings available. And, and I'm sorry about that. You know, I'm not doing my job on that end. Um, but what I want to just do is go through a very quick how to taste spirits. Uh, when you're tasting wine, uh, one of the very first things that I learned tasting wine was smell is everything. Smell actually constitutes 92% of your sense of taste. 92%. Sense of smell is your most primal of all senses. Your sense of smell is the only sense that we have that can inspire and instigate deja vu. That feeling of, oh, I've done this before. I've been here before. I've, I've, this, I've, this has happened to me before. Smell is the only sense. It is our most primal sense. So it's key when you are evaluating anything, whether it's food, whether it's beer, whether it's wine, whether it's spirits. So that, that's the very first thing. But like probably many of you, I really cut my teeth on wine. And the whole idea of, of evaluating wine is that you breathe in deeply, creating suction and having your lips closed. And by having your lips closed, deep breath, you create suction. And what's happening then is the aromatic molecules are landing on two yellow pads, your olfactory membranes. So as, as aromatic molecules are landing on your, your two membrane pads here, your olfactory sense, they are sending immediately information to your brain, directly to your brain. That's why smell is so important. However, creating suction for a beverage that is 12, maybe 15% alcohol is one thing. Creating suction for a beverage that is 40% or more in alcohol, that's quite another. So the trick for tasting spirits that I learned after a year of migraines, uh, after the New York Times asked me to do, write about spirits in 1989, for the first year I was reviewing spirits, I had headaches because I was using my wine system to evaluate spirits. That's not the way to do it.